The grave of the Paisley poet, Robert Tannehill, in the grounds of Canal Street Church, in a serious state of neglect, until the first and second year pupils of nearby Castlehead High School embarked on a project for European Architectural Heritage Year. Tanner Hill is famed for his nature poetry. Ye dark waving plantings, ye green shady bowers, your charms ever varying I view. My soul's dearest transports, my happiest hours, have owed half their pleasures to you. But even when at work, Robert's mind seldom wandered from his writing. Yon call sleety cloud skips along the bleak mountain and shakes the dark firs and the steer rocky bray. Throughout his life, Tannehill was troubled by a weakness in one of his legs. It was this slight limp that prevented him from accompanying his sweetheart, Jenny Tennant, to a local dance. Jenny spent the whole evening in the company of another young weaver. In addition to this heartbreak, Tanner Hill was to receive further personal disappointment over the proposed second edition of his poems, which he sent to the Edinburgh publisher, Archibald Constable. On the 16th May, 1810, Tanner Hill, on returning from an outing to Glasgow, went to bed suffering from a fever, but it was more than mere physical illness that troubled the poet. With great concern, his mother and nephew tended him well into the night. Later, when it was discovered that in his sickness he had left the cottage, Peter Burnett went to search for him in the direction of Brediland.